our defense was really good um, to keep that team down and and everybody's buying into the effort and I talked about this is that time of year with football games going on and I, I see a lot of teams that are advancing and winning playoff games that the defense just kind of, kind of walks off a bus really proud you, you know it's different when you can just say I'm a defensive player um, but whoever it might be a defense wins championships and I want our guys to be uh, of that mindset when it's a unique game because we play defense you know and turn right around and play offense but uh, right now our defense is really providing us a spark and guys everybody's locked in the game plan very few mistakes and when we do our defensive rating uh, and then it, in particular it's really helping our offense we had a stretch in the first half where we were struggling a little bit against their zone and uh, all of a sudden we got I think eight or nine straight stops I called the play in the timeout when it was six to five the next time it was a dead ball so that we could run it and it was maybe eight minutes before we ran it because we were getting stops and running and it was our transition was taking care of itself and and uh, that was a big key for us and it's going to continue to be uh, moving forward but the guys are having a lot of fun and taking a lot of pride in in playing really hard defense yeah i challenged our guys um yeah i thought we were really good at the beginning of the season uh, you know, at San Diego State to out-rebound that team, out-rebound Kansas, out-rebound, I think UNLV is the only team that out-rebounded us this season so far. And as a coach, you talk about it in the offseason, you talk about it in every practice, how we got to rebound, 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 and then we were kind of chalking up a lot of the rebound victories and our offense was a little uh, problematic, so we went back and talked a lot about the offense without mentioning the defense. And I think that's something that we've kind of revisited and. Uh, I mentioned it before the USC game, just being relentless on the offensive class. I thought Chris Reyes, uh, Jakob in particular, have been doing a good job of getting us some extra shots. Or, you know, uh, and you know the rebounding and defense. I think might be the two biggest areas to to give yourself a chance to win. And it's been something we're pr pretty proud of. UCLA numbers wise led our conference in number of rebounds in a game and have our leading rebounder in the league. So. We challenged uh, our bigs to, to put a body on him and, and make sure we were focused on it. I don't think there was many loose 50-50 balls that we had the other night against the Trojans that we missed out on, uh, but it seemed like we were a little more intent on, on, on limiting them to one possession tonight. It was really unique. I mean, we spread it, you know, to, have, to score that many points, to win a game like this, and our leading score has 11. Uh, I think it speaks volumes. Nobody's really out here trying to dazzle the world. And I've said from my first year here on the job, Colorado's team I had a lot of respect for when they ended up winning the Pac-12 tournament. And I think they had five guys that averaged double figures. And you just it was hard to identify which one of those guys you needed to stop. UCLA is a little bit the same with four guys that are leading scores. And, and um, so that's it's been great. I don't think anybody on our team cares who it is that leads us in scoring, we're making extra passes and, and it's, it's a fun way to play when you're engaged on defense and you're playing together on offense, it's a fun formula. He's just, I've said it before, he played a game at Utah when we were recruiting him. You know, people wanted to know what it was about DeLon, all the, all the preseason. What, tell us a little bit about DeLon Wright, I said he's a guy that uh, he maybe doesn't do any one thing like great where he's a specialist at it, but he doesn't have a weakness in his game. I think he guards, he passes, he knows he can shoot it, shoots free throws, gets his teammates involved. And I had said, uh, you know, a couple of years ago, a year and a half ago, that he was a stat sheet stuffer, and that's kind of what it is. He's very selfless. He's not interested in, in dazzling anybody. He actually asked to come out of the game, you know, five minutes to go. I think uh, that speaks volumes when... When a guy's got an opportunity, not many players want to come out, but he wanted to come out. Uh, we were about to take him out anyway for fear of injury, but that, it's just kind of a selfless guy, and he's all about winning, and and knows individual accolades are going to take place because the team wins, and he's, he's bought in completely, and, uh, you know, he's got what it takes. Well, that's, I mean, again, it starts with our defense, but that's it. I mean, that's, uh, you know, you play at elevation, and everybody's got a different schedule to play. It's a short turnaround. It wasn't even easy for us, uh, you know, to play Friday night and then have an afternoon game. I was pretty fried yesterday trying to get a bunch of scouting stuff done, and we couldn't do much on the court. 
and I told our staff, I said, man, I'm, I'm glad I didn't have to get on a plane and fly from Denver to Salt Lake in a couple hours on a bus because uh, it makes a difference. And that's one of the, you know, you don't want to talk too much about it, but if you can get stops, uh, they're not an overly deep team. And we knew that we could probably push the tempo a little bit. We took care of the basketball and made some real positive things happen. I thought that was kind of when the game, um, you know, definitely turned in our favor. Well, we're, we're happy to be where we are. There's no doubt, uh, Dana, with that. But I, I used the statement in the locker room with our guys that I've been talking about for four years, well, not quite four years, but since I've been here. And it was a little bit skewed to the other end of the statement, which is you're never as good as you think you are uh, in a lot of situations in life, and you're never as bad as you think you are. It, and for us, I think it's important to stay consistent with our effort uh, not, you know, avoid the ebb and flow and the highs and wow, that was just off the charts kind of good, but just kind of stay the course. And we still got a lot of work to do and things to improve on. Um, so we can enjoy it, you know, and it's a humble and, uh, and hungry situation. That's a, an Under Armour term, um, that I picked up, just remain humble and hungry through the whole process and hopefully some good things will happen.